Department of Education in New Jersey is clarifying a 2017 law that offered protections for transgender kids in New Jersey schools. Now, some say this is a great idea. Transgender students in New Jersey have always been protected against the law against discrimination, but schools were very unclear on how they should treat transgender students, which meant that some school districts were mistreating the students. And so that's why this guidance is so important, so that schools have clear language on what is allowed and what is not allowed when it comes to transgender students. Others say this could be problematic as there are no parental involvement or restrictions. Kids can just decide what bathroom, what locker room they're gonna use. Okay, let's bring back our A-plus panel, pop culture expert Lisa Durden and former prosecutor and now defense attorney Bob Bianchi. Lisa, I'll start with you. I, uh, I understand the need for clarification when it comes to rules like this. I think this is unfortunate because you've put the burden now on kids to accept something that could be dramatically different. And in a case of, let's say it's a high school or a middle school, a boy in the girl's locker room, now it's on the girls to say just suck it up or go somewhere else. I think this is wonderful, it's amazing. It, it expands fairness. So it gives any student the opportunity to go into the unisex bathroom, it's a choice, no one's being prohibited. It gives the girls, whether it be a transgender girl or a girl who's born a girl, to go in the girl's bathroom, it's all open, I love that. I actually think it's interesting, they're behind. I have been in spaces like the YouTube space in New York where there's no gender on the door. You walk in the same space and I've seen men and women. You see a difference I love with it. young children? No, they have, they're sponges. Young children are better than we are. They're such sponges, they're okay with it. So Bob, let's take it to a high school. We've talked all about this. It's interesting to me, this dichotomy, right? You've got the Me Too movement. You've got a very heightened sensitivity on sexual assault and sexual awareness, et cetera. But what about the kids who are truly suffering? You know, these kids that suffer from gender dysphoria, they do not know what they're gonna choose yet. Is this in a way, and, and could there be an unfortunate end to this where kids are being left to make these incredible decisions on their own, there's no enforcement from a parental side. Parent doesn't have to be involved at all. Well, first off, I agree that these rules will help define consistency amongst the school jurisdictions. But to your point directly, uh, it's funny thing about civil rights, you know, it was the same thing when the blacks weren't allowed in schools, separate but equal, and all these things. If you don't like it, that it, since there are a protected class to transgenders, then you have a choice, if you don't like it, to leave and go somewhere else. But you can't discriminate against exactly. a protected class. That said, I do have a problem, Bill, at that young age of no parental consent or knowledge at all, because there may be psychiatric issues, there may be mental health issues. I'm not saying that the gender is the problem, that's but the parents should have a right to know what's going on with their kids. Not, but gender saying, dysphoria is a real thing. Yeah, I mean, I think. don't know. They're saying that the parents don't have to uh, enforce what they want. No, they're child. saying that they, they don't have to inform right, the parents. But, the but that doesn't mean the parents don't know. Last point, is there an age that you are simply too young to make that decision if you're born a boy and decide to be a girl? Yeah. No. No. Because you're born, you're, born, you're born with your gender already. So you already a three year old, four year old, five year old can't decide what they want to eat or go to movies or what didn't, they want to be in an airplane or not. I don't know if this, is a know fair, if this is a fair analogy, but I, no. I find it interesting that each state has an age of consent. Uh, in order to have sexual relations. And if you are not- Change your gender at six years old. All right, thanks guys.